My room is infested with fleas. Fleas. They're crawling on me. They're, they're crawling, crawling on me. On me. Let, me out. Let me out. Let me out. There's no escaping. You're stuck with me forever. Endeavor. 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 Wake up. Wake up. That's what my nights are like sometimes. That's a frequent nightmare that I have. Um, why? It all starts here. Just find a few fleas crawling on me. Outfit of the day. Yes. Yes. It is finally time to sit down, show all these clips, and I'm gonna be sitting down here and kind of explaining it along with the videos and filling in all the gaps with it. You're about to see this one on for months. So many tears, so much depression. And I would like to address the elephant in the room. This is still a fucking air mattress, okay? Don't judge me, we're gonna get there. It's so ugly in the back, but it kind of fits the core of the video. Okay, without further ado, without further ado, Scary narrator voice. Today, the date is December 7th, 2021. We're gonna go back to the beginning. <laughs> oh my god, it's snowing. <laughs> Just find a few fleas crawling on me. August 26th, it was a Thursday. It was the first week I moved into my apartment. It was the same week as these videos. I woke up on my air mattress that I was only supposed to be sleeping on for a week. I had classes to go to in the morning. So I wake up and I put my legs over the mattress on the floor and I look down at them and on both legs, I see fleas. Oh my God, I have fleas. Not me, but I swear to God, my fucking apartment does. Cause I could feel, I was like, I feel like I'm getting itchy. And so I sit down on the carpet and then I can see them on me. When I sit down on the carpet, look, that's a fucking flea. Oh my god, and there's another one. Oh my god, what the fuck do I do? I'm like, okay. I knew I felt itchy. Again, this is my fourth day there. I had been sleeping on an air mattress on the floor. I noticed I was itchy, so I kind of was suspicious, but I was worried that it was like ringworm or something from the carpet, because I hear that happens in apartment complexes. You can get ringworm from the carpet. Then I knew in that moment, I was like, it was fleas. There was fleas crawling on me for like days, because again, I'm sleeping on the floor. So I go to class. In between classes, I, I go online and I put in the maintenance request. There are fleas. I've been itchy. But my suspicions were confirmed when I sat on the carpet this morning and saw them in my leg hair like I was a dog. Thank you. I'm also eating sushi with a fork. And I don't want anyone to see me doing that. I can use top six, they just didn't have any. And it has hot Cheetos on it. So I go home. I really did not know how bad it was yet. I do a little flea trap. So in case you missed it, my apartment does have fucking fleas. There's no animals in this apartment, meaning the person before us probably had an animal and the fleas have just been living here. I don't even want to sit on the carpet. My mom told me if you do this, fleas will like jump into it. It's apple cider vinegar, some dish soap. If you do this trap, you do need like a pan, like something flat. I don't know why I thought they would just jump into the cup because I'm stupid. I'm a little bit freaked out because now I can actually see the fleas. Like I can visibly look at the carpet 
and see fleas crawling around in the carpet. Flea check. Oh my god, there's so many. You can't see them. You see them? God! She's like, that's a flea. And I did not notice this before. I don't know how, I think this is the day where they just, a bunch were, must have been birthed. Because I read that like, fleas can lay dormant in a carpet in a room until someone comes in and like wakes them up and disturbs them type of deal. And they have like a host to feed on type of deal. So I do go into the office and I talk to them and they say, obviously they're like apologetic. Oh my God, I'm sorry. And they say to me, someone will come tomorrow. Like an exterminator person will come tomorrow. Yeah, they're like, okay, they're gonna come tomorrow at some time. You have to be out of the house in four hours. I wake up and I'm like ready for them to come. So I spend the morning getting all my stuff off the floor She's in the washer right now. Man, I just I actually did sleep really fucking good last night. So I made sure to wear long sleeves. I wore my socks. I was scared. I was like, am I gonna get a disease? Can you get a disease or something from fleas? Like, cause they were 100% biting me, like Say it Vampire And the truth is, they can do a lot worse than make you itch. You see, even modern fleas can transfer diseases like typhus, bartonellosis, and yes, plague. In fact, in the summer of 2019, the discovery of prairie dogs infected by plague-ridden fleas shut down parts of a Denver suburb. And in 2015, a teen reportedly died from contact with fleas infected with bubonic plague. Now. I have to be out of my apartment for four hours when they come. I'm ready for them to come though. Everything's out of my room. Uh, excuse me. Oh my god. Why did that kind of sound like Scooby Doo? But they said around noon. It's almost noon, TJ. It's 11:45, and I still need to shower too. The rest of the day, I spend waiting for them to come. It eventually gets to like five o'clock and I'm like, no one's coming. I know now I'm like, no one's coming today. Like, So I cried like, I don't know, I wasn't counting. I don't think it's happening today. So I don't know what to do essentially. I just spilled salt. Isn't that bad luck? Fuck! There's a flea on me right now, like I literally just... That was like up here and I'm wearing long sleeves and I can feel it crawling on me and I pulled up my pants. Guess what? Fuck you.
Oh my god, like this is the the worst that it's been all fucking week. Oh my god, I literally keep finding them in my pants. I'm like, how are y'all even getting in my pants? They were in my waistline, like kind of like upset because i was like so why did you tell me like someone was gonna come today like so then i'm like okay no one can come and i still have to sleep in this room tonight on the floor knowing there are fleas on the carpet i need to do something about it tonight then like i go to the store and i get a flea bomb pack this ends now look how we match too this is it i don't know how to do this Okay. Oh, it's gone. <coughs> but basically, for a flea bomb, you have to be out of the apartment for like two hours because it's like poison. It's like poison. It was such a depressing night. I just had nowhere to go. Technically, I could have gone, you know, I could have gone somewhere. It was really late at night though, guys. Like, so I just sat in my car, like literally for two hours and probably cried a little bit. So I went and got my comfort food, P. Terry, and I am spending too much money. I love how I say it, then I'm like, so I got a shake and a lemonade, but I deserve it. It is Friday night too. And I'm like, wow, I really don't have anyone to hang out with right now. So I just got back into my room. I'm still seeing fleas. I saw two fleas. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. I probably am just gonna blow the air mattress in here. Maybe I'll sleep in the bathtub. Why not? August 28th, I wake up. I pulled two fleas off my legs. I've been up for five minutes. Where are they coming from? <laughs> yeah, the flea bombs didn't work. Good morning. This is another one. Yeah, this is- Oh! Oh! Ow! Guess what just bit me? Oh my god, I just need to take a deep breath. <gasps> no, I wouldn't talk to the leasing office. No, they're gonna let me stay in the model home. I'm happy about that, like, that was really nice of them to do. So they said to me, while we wait for someone to come, you can stay in the model room. I do two more of these, because I did one in my bedroom last night, but this morning I was still finding them on me. So that must mean it's bad. And then I'm also gonna do one in the living room. <gasps> Last night, I don't think I got out of the room fast enough. And I swear to God, my throat was numb. After I did this one, I need to get out so I have all my stuff ready, I hope. Marlo! I ended up not staying in the model room this day. I went to Walmart and I bought a vacuum and I just kept treating it myself. You know how bad I want these fleas out? I didn't even buy the cheapest vacuum at Walmart. I paid $20 more to have one that'll work better. Okay, let's do this. Salt kills them too, so I got the big thing of salt. I hope that salt is just burning them alive. <laughs> My God, okay, it's worked. See? So when I had the vacuum, things just escalated because I'm vacuuming the carpet and I could see the fleas inside the vacuum and stuff. That one's still alive after two poisons. It survived. But let's keep going, let's keep going. This is so satisfying. Burn, 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 burn. Trying to escape. 
You bitch. Oh my god, I just vacuumed back and forth like a thousand times. I do see some like moving around in here. Obviously like that. Not the ones in the closet thinking they survived. <clears throat> Interesting. Maybe it worked now, like, maybe it's better. August 29th. I was like, holy shit, how is there still so many? I'm trying to fix a flea infestation by myself. I can't live in my room. I couldn't, like, settle down, you know what I mean? So I actually woke up this morning and vacuumed and I still found a good amount of fleas were coming up in the vacuum. Like not just one or two, like still a lot. I bought two things of flea carpet shit. One, it's a spray for the hardwood out in the living room because I'm getting even getting bit out there and I was so surprised. I was like, on the hardwood? I looked it up, they live in the hardwood. They like live in the cracks and lay their eggs in the cracks. So I love that, that's really good. Oh my god, it's snowing! <laughs> this is so sad. I'm making sure every part of this floor is soaked. They go like in these fucking cracks. Fuck you, trash. When I tell you I went crack by crack by crack with this part of the vacuum, I'm just so over it. I want them all gone. So this is all just from like doing that, like all the hard wood. So I, that's probably why they're in here too, because look at all this from left behind dog hair. Like this is the day that I did go sleep in the model room. How many people get to say that they like slept in the model room? When I tell you I got in here and cried, I cried. I got in here and I I got in here and cried. I moved here a week ago. In other words, I've been sleeping on my air mattress for a week. Like, I haven't even touched a real bed. Yeah, I'm so, like, thankful that they are allowing me to stay in here. It's like a kind of like a vacation, because this whole week has been so stressful. I literally haven't even been able to catch my breath. I've been, like, walking back and forth a little bit from here in, like, my room. It still came here at, like, 8, so it's still pretty late in the day. Oh my god. Hi. Like I said, it's been a week since I've slept on a bed. That'll ruin you, I swear to God. I'm not setting an alarm. Oh my God, I'm gonna sleep so good. So I just woke up in the model bed. Here we are. And this today I actually decided to kind of put some of my stuff in bags just because all my stuff is just out like in a room with fleas. Like, So I did put my stuffed animals and my sheets and anything that had cloth on it in like garbage bags and wrap them up really tight. I swear to God, I'm the worst person for this to happen to because like all of my stuff is forever going to feel in my head like contaminated to me. After like I see fleas crawling on it, I'm like, it's never going to be clean type of deal. Finally, I'm swimming in the pool. I love being underwater in the pool. Like, it's just so silent. It's like the world's just like, still in the same flea situation, still staying in a model home, really broken, trying to hang in there, losing hope. Big update, it's Wednesday. So tomorrow will be a week since I reported the fleas. And finally today, someone is actually gonna come and look at it. So I again have all my stuff up here. I'm gonna make sure I'm here when they get here so I can tell them everything they need to know about how bad it is. Cause I'm terrified that they're just gonna come in and like spray a little bit, you know, do stuff I've already done that isn't working. I kind of had some hope here. Cause I was like, hopefully they'll see how bad it is and maybe communicate with the complex and be like, oh, 
it's actually really bad if we want to fix the problem we have to do we have to remove the carpet or like he needs to go somewhere else blah 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 i wanted to get out of lease essentially i don't know but that was just my thought at the time uh the pest control finally came after a week yeah, i told them I've been doing flea bombs. I've been putting product on the floor because I knew that's what they were gonna do. I was trying to tell them it needs a deeper clean than that. They really didn't really like wanna listen to me really. I get it, I guess I get it. And I was 100% sure after I vacuumed, I was gonna find live fleas in the vacuum. We're here about a few hours ago and there's live fleas in the vacuum still. There's one moving around right there. Ah, oh, there we go, right there. You see? Oh my god. Oh my god. There's another one right there. I know. Those flea bombs, the poison stuff that they put down on the ground, it's supposed to kill the live ones, leave the eggs, so then the eggs will still hatch, but it's definitely supposed to kill the live ones, and there's still live ones in there. Live adult ones should die from the poison, and they weren't dying. So it's the day after the people came. I go in there. And I'm like, guys, there's still fleas. There's still fleas jumping on me. There's still live fleas in the vacuum. They came and they treated it and it didn't work. And if the provided treatment doesn't work, they legally have to let you out of the lease or move you to a new room. So I go in there and I'm like, bro, I'm kind of begging. I'm like, please let me out of the lease. Like, and they're like, we can't. No, like, no. It's just like that. You know, I guess it's just how it works. But <laughs> finally they're like, Okay, we'll move you to a new room. So, a... They did tell me which room I would be moving into. And, like, I have anxiety when it comes to roommates. Like, it's scary. So, I leave a note on the person's door. And I say, hey, they want to move me into this room. Here's my number. Let's just talk. So, this is the part of the story where you might start to disagree with me a little bit i really to this day i don't know if this was the right choice or not he might be like jonathan like why did you do that like why wouldn't you move long story short like we didn't really hit it off i mean if i want to go into detail about it like I so the apartment complex is like well you need to make a decision like today what you want to do and i'm like what if we replaced the carpet, maybe? Well, we already changed your carpet. What? He was like, yeah, we changed your carpet on the 23rd of August. They literally tried telling me they changed the carpet on a day after I had moved in. They just don't want to spend the money to change my carpet, essentially. Because they had already offered me a new room and I said no, they knew they didn't have to help me anymore. So I left the office this day and that was the last time I ever talked to the office. I gave back the keys to the model room and I knew I didn't really even have the right to ask them for help anymore, kind of, after they did offer me the new room and I said no. And I did tell them that too. I was like, I won't come in here and ask for help because I know you guys did offered me the new room and I declined it. I just wanted my carpet replaced. You get what I'm saying? I just wanted my carpet replaced. I like my roommate right now. That's why I stayed. You might disagree with me. You might have been like, babe, why didn't you switch rooms? And I still don't know if it was the right choice or not, but ultimately I decided to stay in my room. It did get a little bit better. I was just like kind of over it. Then we get to September 20th. Really been like maybe a week or two since I've last done anything with the fleas. Like. I moved back into the room. I started decorating it. I, well, right now it's empty again, but I'll get to that. Yeah, you see the vacuums out. Obviously there's not good news coming. So I did think that it was getting better. I really thought in my heart, I sit in here for a couple days. No one would jump on me. No one would bite me, but I was gone for the weekend. I went back home to Katie and I just got back. Like I literally just got back here like 30 minutes ago. And I was like, I haven't vacuumed in a few days. So I guess I should probably vacuum. Yeah, there's a few in the vacuum, and I even saw one just crawling on the carpet, which really, really broke my spirit because I really thought I was past that point. But again, it's because the fleas are under the carpet, like under the carpet, and now they're resurfacing again. Okay, like, yeah, but it's also probably because flea infestations can rapidly get out of control. That's because fleas lay eggs in such large numbers at a rate of 40 to 50 per day, around 50 days, a single female can produce uh, 2,000 eggs in her lifetime. Like, I gave them a few days, I left for a few days, and now they're resurfacing. Okay, focus. So I'm leaving, like, a trail of salt all around the bed. And I, I mean, room. I'm honestly gonna just leave it there. 
all jokes aside, it's actually really disturbing how many I'm seeing in here right now. Like just looking at it right here, like I can literally see at least four crawling around. And I truly thought I was past this point. Like the last time I saw one before this, I it was under the carpet and I wasn't seeing any on the surface or anything. They do still have to sleep in here tonight on the floor. So I'm gonna make sure to clean super good. Super, super good. At this point I was like, this is just my life now. I treated it, I did the whole thing. You know, time goes on, the days pass, days turn into weeks, weeks turn into months. The problem was significantly better than it was. So I would still vacuum just maybe like once a week. And I really should have been doing it every day, but I was doing it like once a week. You know, I have school, like, it's just crazy. It's just a lot. October 14th happens. I am so tired of spending my money on flea killer. Like, when will this end? It's never ending. It's a never ending nightmare. I really thought it might be over. I really truly did. I thought it was over. So when I just found the flea right now, it was kind of really disturbing. It was, I woke up from a nap. So I was a little bit naked. I was like naked, naked. Because I took a naked, naked nap, like a butt naked, naked. <laughs> but then I got up and I was like sitting on the floor, barely sitting. I was like squatting on the floor. You know, that makes it sound weirder. Basically, I was naked in my room and a flea jumped on my leg. <laughs> I was like, oh, yes. Like, I noticed the flea on me, so immediately I'm like, oh, fuck. I better go to Target and get more flea bombs. Like, I better treat it so I can, like, feel good about this. You know what I mean? No, this is what just happened. So, I saw the flea. I got up and washed my sheets, and I was ready to go get the flea bombs, and I realized I forgot my money in my room. So, I went back into my room. Well, I tried. I The door, like, wouldn't open. Like, I closed it, and it was, like locked like the fleas locked the fucking door dude i swear to god i could not get back in so i was locked out for an hour two hours trying to get in my roommate came home and he got it open like with a card i was trying to do that but he got it open <sighs> 20 but let's make this even more iconic i'm wearing a mask because i swear to god i have so much damage to my throat and just everything This is like carpet spray, and I got this because I think this might be better because the bombs have not really proved to work for me at all. Yeah, that was the last time I ever saw a flea was that night. It's been months since then. All of this November, I didn't see any. We're now in December, I haven't seen any fleas. Let's get to where we are now, okay? Today is December 7th. It's finals week. It is December 7th. It is finals week. It is December 7th. It is final week. What if we just got stuck in a loop in those 10 seconds for the rest of eternity? Pretty day. Morning. I feel like I'm on the verge of insanity, but I, also, uh, um, I always feel like that a little bit. But... That's the highlight of my life. I have a final check at 8 a.m. basically. Can I tell you something, you guys? I have a, um, I have a chemical imbalance in my brain that makes me um, want to cry 24-7 and I cry every single day of my life and I cry myself to sleep and I cry when I wake up and as I'm falling asleep at night I feel pain because I'm like oh my god I have to wake up in the morning but I'm working on it and I'm also just like crazy and I sit outside even though it's like 70 degrees I mean not, uh, colder than that cold really cold this is really warm though why do I sit outside because why would I sit inside when this is right in front of my face and this is so beautiful and I don't care if it's cold, I need to look at this. This is one of the darkest semesters of my whole life and I can't believe it's over. It went by so fast. I'm like, what even happened? How did that go by so fast? It's crazy when every day is the same and like it all just kind of blends together and then you're like, what is time? Yesterday was the first day in so long I woke up and I had, I just had a thought. I was like, I don't know, I'm in a really weird phase, yeah. Where I'm just kind of, 
<sighs> really hurt, but I do want things to get better. And it's the end of the semester and I'm about to take a final. And then it's winter break. I liked coming on campus and going to class because it was like the only time I would even see people and leave my apartment and do something. You guys, I just hope you always take a moment to just enjoy a pretty view, a simple pleasure of life and you can't take it for granted. Basically, just having this whole situation happen really threw me off. I wanted to leave. I really, really hated it here. And something about it in my head, I was like, I don't want to buy a bed or furniture or anything because that means I am staying in this room. And I hated the idea of that so much. And I hope that makes sense to put it into context. I just decorated my room. Like I put this poster up and I put like, I put all this stuff up just last night. And then, so then I really just ended up sleeping on an air mattress for this whole semester. It was awful. My back felt like it was made of paper. I did get a lot of character development from this, you know? And I know you're probably like, babe, don't complain. But so I'm telling you guys, I feel like it's really confusing as to why I let myself suffer on an air mattress. You guys, basically it all comes down to mental illness and yeah. And also it's just like, I'm not gonna live here next year. This room didn't feel like a home to me. It still doesn't feel like a home to me. And I don't you guys to be like, well, it's your fault. Like you're not trying to get better. You're not trying to get furniture because I understand and I know. But for the longest time I couldn't. And I hope that makes sense. And I hope you understand. I need to start trying to fix my room. I need to start trying to make it feel like a home. And I hope nothing about this sounds annoying. I'm not trying to like victimize myself or anything. I know I could be doing things to fix my issues. And I am now at the point where I am trying. But for the longest time, I was so depressed that I didn't have the energy to buy furniture. But I do really want things to get better. <sighs> I'm finally going back to San Marcos today. So I finally get to take some of the things that I got for Christmas to my apartment and I'm so happy because most of it is room decor for my apartment. Oh my God, I'm about to pull it to my apartment. Why do I have like butterflies? Like why do I feel so anxious? I know why I feel anxious. Ugh, I don't know. Like I haven't been here like in like literally like a month about. Oh my God, like I'm nervous. The pit of despair. Ready? Well, I already, I already heard that and I've already walked inside. <laughs> Yeah, I literally have my mattress stacked on top of <laughs> the air mattress. Oh my god. Now that's gonna be a problem. The first thing I do when I get back is I always vacuum because like while I'm out of town, like especially now like I've been gone for so long, I'm like what if the fleas like respawned? There weren't any. I've lived here for three or four months and I'm about to put my first piece of furniture in there that today. This is such a moment. It's so cute. <laughs> I put some records in it. I have so many. I can literally fill it up. I'm so happy. Just hang that hat up and look how cute. Look how cute it looks over there now. I love it. Smiley face. Pillowcases. Ugh. Yay, they're so cute. Okay, but this is what I'm most excited for. Holy shit. I got these two bath mats and they're like so fucking cute. You guys, I'm crying. I'm crying. Remember how my shower curtain started out with the hangers and everything? The first ring is done. I'm so happy. I think it's so cute. Like I wanted to make my bathroom cute because honestly, like a lot of times I wake up and then I take a shower after I wake up and when I'm in the shower is when I start crying. Like literally five minutes after I wake up. So. so I wanted something like good vibes in here. Okay, so you guys know I have like a projector. So I got like a projector screen. Oh, so good. So I kind of made it work. No shit, but Crocs.
This is everything to me, you guys. I'm deflating the air mattress. What's there? This is kind of like the blob from summer camp. That thing always gave me anxiety, but now I would love to do that. What an era of my life. That was awful. Really interesting. But it's done. The dog days. I don't really know how that song goes, actually. I just know the bad days are behind us. Ah. Wow. It's gone. That. Okay, the last thing I have for the room is, this is from ACL, Austin City Limits, you know, 2019. Ugh, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. Are in alignment, and then you start there. Okay, inner legs, draw the knuckles down, and we open up here, front knee over front ankle. So the last thing I'm gonna do today, I got this like light strip. Look how, it's actually pretty cool looking, damn. I literally feel like I'm holding like a lightsaber. It's pretty cool. What a super good day we had. I'm gonna call it a night, I'm like so tired. I got my favorite food, P. Terry's. I'm just gonna watch Spider-Man and probably fall asleep. This is my favorite place. Oh, it's heavy. If you want to know where I'm at right now, I just drove 30 minutes to see this wall. And I don't regret a single thing. Picasso, I like it.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Shut up. Oh my god. <laughs> It's the last day of school. You know, it's potentially my last day here. <sighs> my final is in 20 minutes. It's like super bittersweet, kind of. I really do like love this campus and stuff, and I'm gonna do the thing where I walk around and listen to music before class for the last time. So let's talk later. I'm getting older. I've got more on my shoulders, but I'm getting better. That's a wrap. It's so